Hi guys, I'm Eileen. If you're new here, I post a video every week about fashion and luxury and I'll be so happy if you decide to join my YouTube family. So today's video is the part two of my jewelry collection series, which is about my Cartier and Tiffany & Co collection. If you haven't checked out part one, I'll leave a link somewhere here and that one is about my Van Cleef and Arpos collection. So without further ado, let's get started. My first Cartier piece is this love ring in yellow gold. This is the thinner band. I'll make sure I leave the link down below in the description box just so you know the exact model. But I got this ring to wear on my forefinger on the right. And I would say it feels quite flat and comfortable and I really like the way it looks. Now because of the smooth top surface, you are bound to get scratches, especially if you wear the ring a lot. Personally, I don't quite mind having scratches on my pieces. I think they tell a story about the piece of jewelry. Plus, you cannot really avoid them anyway, so I've learned to embrace them. I think the Love Collection is very popular for wedding bands, and I certainly recommend them as well because the design is very simple but classic. So it's something that will really stand the test of time and I'm sure you'll love it in 10, 20 or even 30 years to come. Also, because the ring is quite plain, I think it's a fantastic piece for stacking your rings as well. I've been enjoying this ring a lot, that's why I got another love ring, which I will come to in a bit, but I've actually given this ring to my husband and he's now wearing this on top of his white gold wedding band. He actually enjoys the ring a lot as well, so I think the love collection actually works very well for both men and women. My second Cartier piece is also a love ring, so this one is in rose gold and with diamond pave. The one I have is the medium band, they also do this design in a thinner and a wider band. I wear this every day on top of my wedding band and I love the way they look together. This is such a beautiful piece and it just makes me so happy every time I look at it. I went for rose gold because I think it makes the ring look a bit more subtle and muted. So even with the diamond pavé, I feel like it's a great piece to wear every day. Now the two love rings are different in thickness. The pavé ring is slightly thicker to accommodate the diamonds and if you look at the ring closely, the edges are not exactly rounded, so I find that scratches tend to gather around here. However, on the top surface, because of the diamonds, you will see a lot less scratches compared to the original love ring. But when I look very closely, I can still see a bit of scratches on the screw holes. I would say both rings are very comfortable to wear. However, the pave ring is slightly thicker, so sometimes it does scratch my skin slightly during my skincare routine. This is the Cartier Just On Clue ring, and I got this in yellow gold with diamonds. This is certainly a statement piece, and I tend to wear less jewelry when I have this piece on, just so there's not too much going on. I especially like reaching for this ring in the colder months, because that's when I will cover up from head to toe. So for example, in the winter, when I have to wear more layers, I tend to wear less jewelry. So I like to wear this ring and I wear this on my forefinger on the right. And I think it really helps to complete an outfit. This ring is quite substantial and I really enjoy that about this piece. However, if you are looking for a more feminine option, Cartier now do a thinner version and there's another one with double loops. In terms of sizing, you want to be quite careful with size selection because the nail head is a round circle, so quite often the bottom half of the circle can dig into my skin slightly. My essay actually suggested me to go a size bigger and I'm glad I did because if the fit is too tight, it can hurt quite a bit especially when I try to remove the ring. It can feel like it's scratching on the knuckle. So when I was shopping for this ring, the essay actually suggested me to really rub my hands to make them swell because your hands will swell throughout the day and trust me, you really don't want this ring to be too tight. Between the love and the just on clue rings, I would definitely prefer the love ring. As much as I adore the just on clue ring, it's not something that I will wear on a daily basis, so cost per wear is not as good. The love ring is just timeless and classic, and you just cannot go wrong with it. So I would say, if you're new to Cartier, a love ring is a fantastic starter piece. This is the Cartier love bracelet. I've actually done a comprehensive review about this piece with the Just On Clue bracelet on my channel and I'll leave a link somewhere here. 
So this one is in yellow gold and is in the size 17. This bracelet is made of solid gold, so it's quite substantial. I really like the way the bracelet looks, but to me, it's quite a bit of a hassle to put the bracelet on. And with my job, I don't really wear bracelets, so I do have to remove this piece every Sunday night. So for that reason, I don't tend to reach for this bracelet a lot. In fact, I'm actually thinking to sell this piece because I don't like to keep things that I don't use. Having said that, I think this bracelet is timeless and beautiful. It goes with absolutely everything and it feels very comfortable when it's on. So if it's a good fit to your wardrobe and lifestyle, I will highly recommend it. This is my last Cartier piece and it's the Just On Clue bracelet. Again, I got this in yellow gold. I just love yellow gold from Cartier. I think the shade is very vibrant and it's not too yellow. I love this piece so much. The design is very unique and it looks so playful and modern. Now just like the love bracelet, I think this piece looks good on both men and women. For me, this is a statement piece, so I tend to wear this piece on its own, although I know a lot of people like to stack this with the love bracelet. In terms of sizing, this collection is designed a bit smaller compared to the love bracelet. So if you wear a size 17 for your love, they will recommend you to go for size 16 for the just on clue. I went for the size 15 because I wasn't planning to stack this with my love bracelet. But looking back, I probably should have gone for the size 16 because it's always good to have the option available. Whereas now, the just on clue bracelet sits quite away from my love bracelet. One thing I really like about this bracelet is that it's very easy to put on and I can do it without any help. However, there's just a little downside with this bracelet in terms of comfort because just like the ring, the bottom half of the nail head can dig into my skin slightly. Now the pain is not excruciating but it is something that I'm aware of. Between the love and the just on clue, I definitely prefer the just on clue bracelet. I think the design is just one of a kind and more importantly, I can put it on myself easily without any help. Moving on to Tiffany & Co, I have two pieces from Tiffany and this is the Eternity Diamond Ring in Platinum. This was a generous anniversary present and because it's a huge purchase, we actually spent quite a lot of time doing research before actually buying the ring. So this is certainly not a purchase that was made lightly. However, I am very glad we bought the ring when we did because right after we bought the ring, the price actually went up by 10%. So this ring is made of 20 round brilliant diamonds and the total weight is 1.8 carats. The thickness of the band is about 3 millimeters. I usually wear this ring on my ring finger on the right and um, it has quite a bit of thickness to it. So I can certainly feel the ring when I'm doing chores. In fact, it does catch my skin slightly during skincare routine, so I do have to remove it morning and night. Now really, I'm not an expert in diamonds, but this piece does look stunning. And I know Tiffany & Co is a popular choice for wedding bands. I love this beautiful ring so much, and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. Lastly, these are the Tiffany & Co diamond earrings in rose gold. Each earring is made of a bigger diamond in the center and 12 other smaller diamonds around it. The total weight is 0.25 carat. I think these earrings are perfect for everyday wear. The diameter is about 7mm, which for me is perfect, they are not too big or too small. These have a very simple design but they are very flattering. They might not be the biggest diamonds but they are certainly very shiny and eye-catching. In fact, a lot of people ask me where are these from? Now to be honest, a lot of jewelry houses do very similar designs. So I don't really think you have to go for the Tiffany option. However, I am aware that we pay a premium for Tiffany pieces because they tend to keep their value very well. Now I've always said that a solid pair of earrings is a fantastic way to start your jewelry collection because they go with absolutely everything and you can wear them so much. Therefore, cost per wear will be quite low. So that's my Cartier and Tiffany & Co collection. Make sure you subscribe because next week I'll be posting my Hermes Fine Jewelry collection. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Have a good day.